boxing first up heartbreak for indian boxer vijinder singh in the quali quarterfinals of the men's 75 kilogram category vijinder's dream of a second olympic medal was dashed as he lost to abus atwar in the quarterfinals now vijinder singh was looking to repeat his 2008 bronze winning heroics at london the bhivani bomber started off well in a closely contested first round against atwar in the first round there now it ended with the score tied at 3-3. It was in the second round though that the Uzbek boxer came into his own against Vijinder after taking the round 7-5 to build a two-point lead going into the third round. Vijinder tried to valiantly fight back in the third round, but that wasn't good enough as Atwa once again won the round 7-5, sending Vijinder crashing out of the Olympics. Yes, in fact, a recheck at the final score. Abbas Atwa winning the second round, the third round by identical margins to post a resounding 17-13 win for the Vichinda. Some boxers have particular days on which they are off color, but so today Lee seemed so. And uh, Abbas seemed to be uh, lucky and he was a clever boxer. Now, at the end of round one, the scores were equal. So round two, halfway through the round two, Vijender was leading. And, I mean, he was doing well. He was scoring quite well. But it was just towards the end of round two, in the last few 10-15 seconds, a flurry of punches by Abo Atos. That probably changed the complexion of the game, and the game turned at that point. Manoj Kumar and Vikas Krishan might have justified grouses for the way they went out of the boxing competition at London 2012 in their respective weight categories. But one man, the leader of the Indian men's boxing contingent, Vijinder Singh, can have absolutely no complaints about the way he went out in the quarterfinals. Vijinder simply did not turn up and lost the fight to a better fighter on the night. A fighter he knows very, very well and a fighter he just could not handle at the Excel Arena. With camera person Subodh Saxena, Gaurav Gala in London for Headlines Today.